Hi there, we're very excited to show you how to use a defibrillator. These compact devices are so useful in saving people's lives. And so today we want to share with you step by step what you can expect and how to use one. So here we have the HeartSign 500P and uh, we'll take it out of its carry case. You'll note some pictures there giving us uh, clear instructions on how to use it. And when we've uh, pressed this start button, we'll also get a voice helping us through the process. You know what, why don't we just start it and see what it sounds like. Call for medical assistance. So when prompted to call triple zero, we need to do that immediately. We may even get someone to help us with that. It is critical that we get emergency service to help us save this guy. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. So obviously to use our defibrillator, we need to bare the chest. And to help us with that, we have a prep kit that holds a pair of scissors as well as other things. And we can then cut through the layers of clothing. Now at this moment, you might feel somewhat uncomfortable, but it's critical, very important that we get this done immediately. So let's do that. And of course, now we have a bare chest and maybe at this point, we might actually have a hairy chest. So let's uh, shave the areas where the pads will be needing to be. Pull green tab to remove pads. To pull the green tab, I'll show you how that works. We pull hard enough to pull the cassette out, and as you can see, the cassette is out now. Notice these two foil tabs. Let's pull them apart. And now we have the electrodes or pads exposed, and as you can see, there are pictures showing the actual placement. Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. So let's place the pads on our patient. This one, as shown on the picture, on the left side. This one, on the top right side. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. So our defibrillator is now uh, assessing the heart and registering uh, some activity in the heart. In this case, there is, uh, but the heart is not beating correctly. So it'll provide an electric shock to reset the rhythm of the heart to make it operate properly. On some occasions, the defibrillator might say to you, uh, no shock required. And this means that it does not sense any activity in the heart, which it cannot correct then, and so no shock will be given. So when it says no shock required, please continue with your CPR. It's very important to be able to oxygenate the brain. In the meantime, the emergency services will arrive. They may be able to restart the heart. So what actually happens when the defibrillator is ready to give a shock? Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. So all you have to do is press the orange flashing button. Regardless of whether the defibrillator will shock or not, we are encouraged to continue our CPR. And this we can do in time with the defibrillator. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. <laughs> this uh, particular model will also tell you whether you need to push harder or faster and we can keep in time with the defibrillator metronome. This defibrillator will uh, get you to do two minutes of CPR and then it will analyze the heart again and it will continue to do that process until the patient revives. Thank you for watching our video. We're confident that uh, you'll be able to uh, grab a defibrillator use it effectively on someone and effectively increase their survival rate. For more confidence in first aid and of course this uh, training, we, uh, we invite you to access our website, accidentalddi.com.au and uh, browse the various courses that are available 
and also download the free first aid guide.